I'm probably asked, how are you? At least 10 to 12 times a day. And usually I say, good, thanks, or fine, thanks. It seems like the answer everyone's giving these days is, busy, good, but busy. I wanted to think about some funny ways you could answer how are you, just to shake it up a little bit. So here's some options if you just wanna be a little silly, a little funny, and get off the autopilot responses of good, busy, but good, or fine, or yeah, good, thanks. First funny response to how are you? So how are you? Better inside than outside. This is such a funny response because I sometimes feel like I'm good on the inside, but I don't look so good. I'm a little tired. I have my resting bee face, resting bothered face. It's in a danger zone of cues where I look a little bit down, but actually I feel totally fine. So if you are feeling a little frumpy, but you feel good on the inside, this is a great answer and will always make people laugh. Yeah, better inside than outside. <laughs> funny response number two. So how are you? I still haven't figured that out. This is a great one if you literally don't really know how you are. You know how those days kind of go crazy and you're like, am I good? Am I busy? Am I bad? Am I tired? Am I energetic? Those are like my days, especially when I'm filming. And so this is a great response if you're just not quite sure and you want to get a little laugh of, uh, I still haven't figured it out yet. And they laugh and you can talk about what's going on in your day. It breaks the autopilot and it gets you talking about what's actually happening. Funny response number three. How are you? Amazing. That was better than I thought. That sounded way better than I thought. So if you got Disney princess vibes, if you want to just totally shake people up, people are so used to like demure responses with how are you? You know, you're like, how are you? Good. How are you? Good. Yeah, a little buzzy, but good. It's like all the same level. I don't know why I just like sounded like a mafia member there, but like it's all the same level. So if you're like amazing or you, if, if, if Disney princess is not your style, you can also try Tony the tiger, right? I'm great. You know, you can also do one of those. And people are like, whoa, what's so good? And then you get to talk about something good. So those kind of answers are really fun because it breaks the social script, but it also, it makes people excited for you. They're like, oh, amazing. Oh my goodness, wow, great. And they talk about something good and they're excited for you. Funny response to how are you number four. We're gonna take this one from Dave Letterman. Dave Letterman has a great answer to this question. I hear that a lot, and uh, they say, well, how do you feel? And I say, well, I'm 75, I feel 105. So here's a really funny formula. You put in your age and then say how you feel. And that can go old or young, right? So you could be like, well, <laughs> I'm 20, but I feel 70, right? Like that has its own meaning of like, you're a young one, but you feel old and wise. Or you can be like, Whew, I'm 50, but I feel 21. Right? So it can go either way, but it's demonstrative. So you can pick a formula that works for you. Are you young and you feel wise and old? Are you old, but you feel like you have the energy of a young tyke? You can fit in the formula to fit what you want to do. Here's the bottom line of this video. Don't answer on autopilot. And I'm so guilty of this. So don't ask me how I am because I'm probably going to be like, good, busy, busy, but good. I really try to break autopilot. So sing like a Disney princess, make a funny age formula, say you don't know and ask them. I think that the more we can shake it up, the better. And then here's the key. Don't ask, how are you back? Ugh, this is such a hard one to break, but we often were like, good, how are you? How are you? Good, good, how are you? And then you're like back in this horrible loop. So think about your funny answer and then think about what you would ask them back. Maybe it's what's good. So that's what I'm trying to train myself off of. I'm trying to train myself off of how are you with what's good? What's been good? Just because it breaks it up a little bit. So think about what your funny answer or response could be and also what question you want to ask back. My entire goal always in these videos is to break us out of social autopilot, to build genuine and true connections, to have a little bit more fun in our social interactions. As uh, most of you probably know, I'm a recovering awkward person and I talked a lot about my book Captivate. So if you're interested in more tips like this, I would love it if you would check out my books. I would be so honored. I am trying to break that autopilot of how are you. So I'm going to end this video off of autopilot and I'm going to go to Disney Princess because it sounded so good before. Are you ready? Give this video a like. Do you want even more learning? 
check out my books, Captivate and Cues, where I break down the science of people, all kinds of hidden behavior. I share stories and case studies. I think you'll love them. Check them out wherever books are sold or the Audible. I even record it myself. Check them out.